Hey guys, welcome to the 30 paintings in 30 days project. So every day of this month, at least 30 days of this month, we are gonna create a little painting a day and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna experiment mostly with watercolor and gouache and um, let's get to painting and I will see you at the end. Hey guys, we are back here for painting number nine. If you are watching this full talking video on YouTube, and you're not a member of Patreon, I'm not sure how you found the unlisted video, but welcome. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do leave them down below. And in the meantime, let's get started. We are doing 30 paintings in 30 days, 30 little painting studies. I've got my inspiration book off camera that way. It's a DIY inspiration book filled with mostly pictures that I took, but sometimes I'll find something in a magazine. We're using it for inspiration for color and composition. And um, I think I do have some tutorials on the book. If anybody asks, I will try to find them somewhere on YouTube, somewhere. Yeah, anyway. Um, all right, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with my half inch flat. And we're gonna start with some primary yellow green. I'm going to add a little bit and then I'm going to add some water. Then I'm going to grab some quidocridone magenta. I am going to add some buff titanium to it. And some water. I'm going to try to leave a little white space between the pink and the green. If they do mix, they're going to make brown. Normally, y'all know, what do we do? We dry in between. Every now and then, I get the impulse to not do so much drying. Whoops. Okay, what was I saying? Every now and then, I get the impulse to not do so much drying. So I just went in with a damp brush and I just swiped down the middle. It blended the two marks of color, but it also helped me lift some of the pigment. So I just did this. You can see it blended the two um, color swatches, but I'm also able to lift up some of the pigment. You want to do this while your paint is still damp. It's harder to do if you um, let it dry too much. Uh-oh, we got some green in there. Let's lift that up. It's gonna turn brown. So I'm gonna grab some of the pure quadocridone magenta. Add a little bit of that in. That darker darker red, same shade, is just going to add um, blah, 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 blah. It's going to add the shadows. The lighter one will be our highlight. Okay. Now we're going to give this a dry. Okay. I think I'm going to do something crazy I don't normally do. I have this blender brush we've had out since, I don't know, second or third video. This is by, it's an FX FX brush by Creative Mark. It's just a short blunt tipped like stippling brush um i don't use it i'm sure for what it was intended but it's nice for what i do use it for i'm going to go straight in with this brush which is not a watercolor brush uh, into the hansa yellow i'm going to grab some of the almost pure pigment i'm not going to water it down too much the brush is damp but it's not wet and i'm going to just do this just tapping up and down up and down Then I'm going to grab some of the Indian yellow, which is more orange. Whoops, 
and way more watery. Okay. Let's get some of that off. We want a dry, much drier brush. Yep, just like that. So now I'm gonna take um, round my round number four brush and I'm gonna go in with undersea green. I'm gonna mix it a little bit with the permanent yellow green. And we'll make some suggestive lines to suggest foliage again barely touching the brush to the paper so no digging any holes to china that's not necessary yeah oh i love that that's pretty just quick and easy look at that that's a cute little study painting all right let's give it a dry okay let's pull the tape off that's a cute little study painting so as I've said before, and I'll say it again, these are just little study paintings, 30, 30 paintings in 30 days. They should just take a few minutes. Don't agonize over them. Some of them will turn out better than others. Uh, I hope you do decide to join me in creating these little paintings and that you have fun with it. And there we go. Okay, there we go, making sure I'm in frame. Um, there is painting number nine. All right, I'll see you in the next through version, sorry. Um, if you'd like to support the free content here on Facebook or in the, uh, here on Facebook, holy cow. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, I certainly would appreciate that. You can of course join Patreon. We do have YouTube membership here for a, a small fee. And um, also I have an Etsy shop and I have um, PayPal tip jar and all that stuff. So check out the video description. Relevant links will also be down there. And uh, yeah, don't forget the most important things. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do share your work with me. I would love to see what you're doing. That's it for now. See you later. Bye, guys.